Welcome to this for the blog. Do you remain your humble teacher, Sir Henry? Now, in this section, we are going to treat um, venial calipers, micrometer screw gauge. But before I venture into this, um, always remember to subscribe, follow the link, subscribe, share. Now, we are going to learn a lot of things from here. How to calculate what venial calipers are used for a micrometer screw gauge and how to calculate questions based on that, both WIEC and JAM. So it's just a brief topic, but we are going to learn a lot from it. First of all, let's talk about vernier calipers. Now I'm not going to give you the diagram aspect of it, just the calculation part of it. The diagram you can see in your textbook. But what I want you to know is, what do we use vernier caliper? Vernier caliper is one of the instruments you use to measure length. We have three, so many instruments used in measuring length. We have meter rule, we have vernier caliper, micrometer screw gauge, tape. Tape is also working as a meter rule. But our focus here is on these two, vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauge. Now, the vernier caliper is also used to measure length, but small lengths that meter rule cannot measure. Meter rule means your ruler, the small, small lengths it cannot measure. Now, such lengths are what is written here on the board. So it can be used to measure the following. We have the diameter of a rod. A meter rule does not measure diameter. Now we have the external and internal diameters of a tube. A meter rule cannot measure this, so you make use of your vernier caliper. The instrument, it has two um, parts, the arm view and the other part. So, this vernier caliper has a reading accuracy. Now, the reading accuracy is either in cm or in millimeter. It depends on the question. Now, we have the reading accuracy or the precision of a vernier caliper to be 0 0.1 millimeter. 0 0.1 millimeter, or if you convert that to cm, that is 0 0.01 cm. Please note this. The precision of a vernier caliper is 0 0.1 millimeter, or 0 0.01 cm. So this is what you use in the calculation of a vernier caliper. This is what you use. So we are going to venture into this. If John wants to ask you a question on the things that you can use vernier caliper to measure, it will never exceed these two. So note these two examples. The diameter of a rod and the external and internal diameters of a tube. Okay, now let's venture into how to do the calculation concerning a vernier caliper. Now let's have questions on this, but before we go into that, now one thing you need to know is that a vernier caliper has two scales, the main scale and the vernier scale. So I'm going to use MX to denote the main scale and VS to denote the vernier scale. So how do you calculate the reading on the vernier caliper? The reading on the vernier caliper, the formula is simply main scale plus the vernier scale. The main scale plus the vernier scale. Now, reading this is not a problem. Reading this is not a problem. The challenge on this calculation is how to make use of the precision of a vernier caliper. When to use 0 0.1 millimeter and when to use 0 0.01 centimeter, which is cm. Now we have, let's go into a question. Now, this is the question. Listen very attentively and see how to solve question on this. This is normally tricky in the hall. With this question, I believe you can solve some other question. Now, once you are given question on a vernier caliper, sometimes they will mention vernier caliper, sometimes they call it instrument. It is your job to know that the diagram represents a vernier caliper. Like in this question, now, James says, what is the reading on the instrument? They didn't mention the name. Once you see this diagram, you know it's a vernier caliper. Now, before you start solving, first of all, look at the unit. Very important. Look at the unit. This is millimeter. That means they want you to use the precision 
of a vernier caliper a millimeter, which is 0 0.1. Once this is CM, we are making use of CM, we are going to solve another question that involves CM. So what we have here now is this longer part of it is called the main scale. While this small one that moves over the main scale is called the vernier scale. So we are going to read, get the readings on the main scale, get the readings on the vernier scale, then we add. So the reading, remember the formula says main scale plus the vernier scale. So let's read the main scale. Be very careful. Watch from 0 to 1. So each line is 0 0.1. How do you do that? If you count, if you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 lines represents 1. So if you want to get the value of one line, just divide this thing you are starting with by 10. So that will give us 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So here is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. So if you want to read this, which means that this is what? 0 0.1 plus 1, that will give us what? 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 and so on and so forth. Now, how to get this? To know where to stop depends on the vernier caliper. Look at where the vernier caliper started. If you are making use of this practical, doing it practically, you see that this lies on this. So anywhere it stops, that is where you will count. You count from here to that point. Now here is one. We are going to stop here because the vernier caliper, sorry, the vernier scale starts here. So we have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. If you ask case is 1.8 in millimeter plus. Now, the vernier scale is another challenge. The main scale we have gotten to be 1.8 millimeter. It's already millimeter. Now, this is another place you have to be very careful. This is the easiest one to pick. What you are looking at here is where this vernier scale touches the main scale. That particular point, it touches the main scale. These are the vernier, the numbers on the vernier scale. They are always nine in number. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you watch carefully in the hall where this is touching. As you can see, this is slightly above this, it's not touching. This is not touching, this is not touching, this is not touching, this is not touching. But at five, Five is touching the main scale. Five is touching the main scale. Therefore, the reading on this is five. So we have five times the precision of a vernier caliper in millimeter. The precision of a vernier caliper in millimeter is 0 0.1. Why? Because it is measured in millimeter. So we now have 1.8 plus 5 times 0 0.1 should give us 0 0.5. When you add this, our reading becomes 1, sorry, 2.3 millimeter. So this is how you calculate a millimeter. Always anything you count here, multiply by the precision of a vernier caliper in millimeter. So this gives us 2.3 millimeter. You go to your option and pick the option. Now we're going to answer another question. Question number two in centimeter. Now this is the second question to explain further. As you can see, in this particular question, they made mention of the vernier scale, not instrument this time around. So they say, what is the rating of the vernier scale below? I can say above. This is the diagram we are making use of. Now before you solve, always watch your unit. This is in CM. So we are making use of the reading accuracy of a vernier caliper in CM, which is 0 0.01. So our formula is reading is equal to main scale plus the vernier scale. So we can decide to get anyone first. It does not matter. We can decide to get anyone first. 
So we have the vernier scale here. Watch where the calibration is touching up and down. When there is an up and down match, you pick it on the vernier scale. So if I watch closely, this is where it is matching the up and down. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this gives me 8 times 0 0.01, which is because of CM. So I'm using 0 0.01. Okay, that is the reading for the vernier scale. Now, for the main scale, I've told you, anywhere the vernier scale is, stop. You count from here down. So if you watch the calibration of this, each line is 0.1. You can see that this is 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.93. So if you want to count down, this is our main distance. So after this, this is 1.9. After 1.9, you have 1.8. So this is 1.8. Why this is 1.7? So this is 1.8. We have 1. 0.8. So this will give us 1.8 plus 8 times 0 0.01 will give us 0 0.08. If you add this in your calculator, you get 1.88 cm. So this is how you calculate anything you are given. I will repeat again to summarize. Please, anytime it's in cm, you are multiplying by 0 0.01. If it's in millimeter, you are multiplying by 0 0.1 then check where the vernier scale is touching the main scale that is where you read your vernier scale thank you once again now subscribe share if you have any um, question just drop it in the comment box below and i will attend to them thank you